How's it going today guys? Welcome back to The Lair and today I have another special deck for you. I call this Luminous Reflection. <clears throat> this is the first deck I really try to like just try something completely new with mainly all new cards from the new set. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the, uh, the deck list. Uh, on the one drop, I have four copies of Flourishing Fox for one planes, one one. Whenever you cycle another card, put a one one counter on Flourishing Fox, and we can cycle it for one. On to the two drops, I have four copies of Dranith Stinger for one colorless, one mountain, two two. Whenever you cycle another card, Dranith Stinger deals one damage to each opponent, and we can also cycle her for one. I have three copies of Savai Thundermane for one mountain, one plains, three, two. Whenever you cycle a card, you may pay two. When you do, Savai Thundermane deals two damage to target creature and you gain two life. <clears throat> Running four copies of Raking Claws for one colorless, one mountain. Target creature gains double strike until the end of turn and then we can cycle it for two as well. On to the three drops, I have four copies of Splendid Mare, which is two colorless, one plains. 3-3 three, three, Lifelink, which we can cycle for one colorless and a planes. And when you cycle Splendor Mare, put a Lifelink counter on target creature you control. Then we're running three copies of Prickly Marmoset for two colorless and one mountain. 2-3 two, First Strike. Whenever you cycle a card, Prickly Marmoset gets my, uh, plus two, plus zero until the end of turn. Two copies of Lurus of the Dream Den, one colorless and two planes in, in our case. 3-2 lifelink, uh, we're not following the companion, so we can disregard that, but during each of your turns, you may cast one permanent spell with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard. <clears throat> and now the spice, we got four copies of reptilian reflection for two colorless and one mountain. It's an enchantment. Whenever you cycle a card, you may have reptilian reflection become a 5-4 dinosaur creature with trample and haste in addition to its other types until the end of turn. And on to the four drop slot, we have four luminous brood moths for two colorless and two planes, three, four, flying. Whenever a creature you control without flying dies, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a flying counter on it. This card is incredible. And on to the, we're gonna skip all the way down to the seven drop. Yodaro, wandering monster for five colorless and two mountains. He's an eight, eight trample haste. We can cycle him for one colorless and one mountain. And when you cycle Yodaro, Wandering Monster, shuffle it into your library from your graveyard. If you cycle the card name Yodaro, Wandering Monster, four or more times this game, put it onto the battlefield from your graveyard instead. <clears throat> so, as you probably guessed already, the whole idea is all cycling with this deck. Uh, we basically drop our cheaper creatures, and uh, you know we drop a Reptilian Reflection every time we cycle, it turns into a dinosaur. Um, all of these have no flying, so when they die, Luminous Broodmoth brings them back uh, with a uh, flying counter on them. And then Lurus also helps us recur some of our early cards that might be picked off fairly easily. And then, of course, in our top end, we have uh, Yadaro. I've only got to actually play him once, um, but being able to cycle for such a cheap cost is really great, and the fact that we don't have to worry about him going into the graveyard. <coughs> is also great. So let's go ahead and get into uh, the mana base here. I'm running seven planes, eight mountains, four sacred foundries, four temple of triumph, and two fabled passage. We have a 2.9 converted mana cost with 27 creatures and we're running 25 land. So let's uh, hop into some games and hopefully I don't get my ass kicked like yesterday. And let's get to it. opponent Panda Magico. I love it. Alright, this looks like a promising start. I've got a two lander here. I've got a flourishing fox into a Dranith or a racking claws. So by Thundermane and Reptilian Reflection. We'll go ahead and keep this. Of course I'm gonna start off with my planes. Another Reptilian Reflection. I really wish this had cycling. I mean I think it makes sense, right? Oh, 
opponent plays a season of road here. Um, I think I <coughs> play out of Drana. <coughs> This is one of those, uh, you keep mutating Paradise Druid because it has Hexproof. We might be in trouble here. Oh, or it could just be... Okay, we pick up a Temple, that's nice. Alright, another Savai. Um... I guess let's keep this, and uh, I think I I think I just go in here, and I'm gonna hold up the uh, the racking claws. Maybe we can get him to block. Maybe. He's thinking about it. with Savai Thundermane's uh, <clears throat> ability. I'm not going to attack in this turn. One plays another season of growth. And the call is a beanstalk. Three three is <coughs> other. Where's our brood moth? And even though I have... Hmm. I'd love to get a land here. I have 25 lands in the deck, so... guy. And next time, or no, next turn we can go full suicide. If we don't get killed, you could have an all that glitters. That's nine. It's just such tremendous value with the season of growth, honestly. <clears throat> and I think that is game nine, ten, Unfortunately, uh, kind of got monastered there. Um, maybe that was my fault for uh, keeping the two lander. I just figured <clears throat> 25 lands, we would have done a little bit better. All right, so nothing new there. Let's hop into another one. And as always, uh, if you enjoy watching, please like and subscribe to the channel. It's free and it helps us out so much. Um, continue to put out content daily to the best of my ability. <clears throat> Alright, so we got another two-lander here. Got a Yodaro. 
This seems a little slow. Um, uh, Mulligan. This is better. We got our Luminous Broodmoth, the Dranith. <clears throat> I think here, I think... Um, I think I dropped the Splendor Mare. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Definitely don't want to bottom uh, Luminous Broodmoth. By the way, man, this, this animation is so creepy. I, I have a thing, like, with insects, and it's like a big-ass flying bug flying across your screen. Kind of creeped me out the first time. <laughs> All right. Opponent Noah P99. Key. Here we will play our flourishing fox. The move is Dranith Stinger next turn. And then Yadaro. Cycle Yadaro. Maybe. The opponent ever plays. Excuse me. The Uzalith with Manifold Key. Hmm. Target creature can't be blocked. Play the drain and stinger, and we go in with the flourishing box. Um, so looks like next turn we will be Yadaroing. here would love an untapped land that sucks um i bottom this because we already have one here i'm looking for an untapped land um <clears throat> well pick up a survive thunder main he got here. A 1 1 counter off the bat. I think this card is just so cool, also on top of the fact that it's a Mecha Godzilla. A quick creature gets minus twos and has hex proof in whenever. Hex proof in whenever the creature with death, death touch blocks or becomes blocked, will this creature destroy that creature? Okay, so he's going in for six. I know oh, and he has vigilance now. Well, okay. Um, do I want that land? I think I want this land. Um, I think I want to get this prickly marmoset out, and we. Do not block. Or, I'm sorry, do we do not attack? No attack. So this guy has hex proof and vigilance right now. Well, if we can get this luminous blue moth out of this Let me look at the top part of your library anytime you cast artifact spells and colorless spells from the top of your library. Please don't like Excel Tucker. Okay, so vigi vigilance, hex proof, life link. Okay. Um, I'm going to wait to block 
here because I want to get the value out of Luminous Brew. point you know I really don't care what he uh, what he blocks because it's gonna come back with a flying counter on it anyways <clears throat> It's flying. Mm. That's what I'm looking for, racking claws. Okay, so I think what I do here. Put the lifelink counter on the prickly marmoset, even though it's going to die. Another luminous brood moth, which is nice. Um, yeah, here I think I just go in with everything, right? That's right, because it's not considered a, uh, wow, it's not considered a, uh, legendary. Oh, that's so cool with the Uzulit. Definitely some really cool decks out there right now. It's always frustrating, oh, look at this bullshit. It's always frustrating, uh, playing a new format. I mean, they have Vigilance, this is over. Um... Punished for trying to have fun and experiment. <clears throat> Let's get into another one here. Opening hand, I've got a three lander, I've got a splinter mare, reptilian reflection. Um, seems kind of slow, let's keep it. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with the temple since we don't have a one drop that we can play. Uh, I need to find some action here, so I'm gonna bottom this planes. And I guess we will just. 
just be cycling Gennaro. Okay. Play out a team reflection. to cycle. Reflection. I bought him that. I don't really need another one. Now, what's the move here? I think I hold off on playing him. I'm gonna play another reptilian and just go ahead and smack him. Now we're getting flooded. Okay, another vanishing light. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just play another one. Another land. Flourishing flock for fox is nice. I guess we play Lurus. Okay. I'm gonna just play the flourishing here. Let's go ahead and smack him. Mighty Matt 79. Murder. Okay. Would love to not draw a land here. <laughs> There's a Yadaro. Right on time. Let's see how he likes this. Does he have a does he have an instant? Excellent, excellent. Feels good. Take down our first win for the day. Yodaro came through in the end. I really want that uh, that alternate art for Yodaro, the uh, Godzilla Doom impending. Shit looks so sick. It's like the beast mode Godzilla. So he's got like a mouth on his chest or something. It's like helicopters and shit flying around in the background. All right, opponent designer cut. All right, we got a three lander here. I've got a Yodaro. Prickly. Oh, we'll keep this. When it plays Vampire of the Dire Moor, Dire Moon. Uh, we have no one drop, so I'm gonna leave off with the temple. Another foundry. Hmm. I think I just bought him this. I'm trying to find some more action right now. Another vampire of the dire moon. Okay. Well, pick up another sacred foundry. I will. I'm gonna pay two, and we will cycle Yodaro. Draw another land. <laughs> All right, I guess we will be dropping a prickly marmoset. Bloodthirsty airless. That is not good. Not bad. Um. I play the planes here, and then we will marmoset. 
Destroy target engine with power of three or less. I'm gonna fable the passage here, thin out the deck a little bit. I guess we, we've got plenty of land, doesn't really matter what I pick. Uh, just pick a way. Planes. Well, um, six, seven, eight, yeah, I think we're dead. <laughs> Alright, well. So what are we, what is the issue here? We obviously, we need more defense. Um, how good is Reptilian Reflection? It's great if we can get it to work. Um, four copies of this, only drew it once in three games. So let's take down Reptilian Reflection. How good is Luros here? Let's take him out. And we need defense. Should we? Should we? Maybe enchantment, possibly a vanishing light. I'm not touching Splendor Mare. Um, yeah, let's try this. Let's see how we do. It has definitely been an adjustment. This new set. Man. Opponent Emma, 19.560. Alright, we got a two lander here. I'm gonna keep this. I got a scry land. I'm gonna lead off. Lead off with the fox. And we can we can cycle her if need be for one. Oh, oh no, red. Might be in trouble here. There's a non-tap land, that's nice. There's the temple though. Racking claws, we'll, we'll save that. And smack him. Here, I think I smack him. And then I'm gonna play a Dranith Stinger. I'm trying to get out some, uh, some targets for my mono red friend here. More boss. <laughs> Hmm. That's 
say, man? What are you doing here? Okay. I think I play Savai Thundermane here. And no attacks. I have about a 43% chance to draw land. 44? 44%? What the hell is that? Impending doom. Enchanting your two zone attacks each combat. Fable when enchanted creature dies. Impending doom. Just do damage to that creature's control. Hmm. Well, so he's going in for. I think I do I double block here? It's going in for five, six, seven, eight. I don't think I Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna banishing light him. There's a splendor mare, that's nice. Um Yeah, I mean we have to take take we have to get rid of this. This fucking little more boss. And now he's down to three. Just go in there. Okay. Little behind. But um we can play our Splendor Mare here. Definitely interested in. Let's do this. I'm gonna play a flourishing fox. And then I am going to cycle Splendor Mare. Get some protection on the board. I'm gonna give the Savai Life Link. And I'm just going in with him because I want to keep up my blocks. Try and stay out of uh, burn radius, but he does have three cards in his hand, so he very well could burn us out. Once again, man, we're getting fucked on the lands. I don't understand. Um, if we can survive one more round, uh, I can I can give the Savai Thundermane double strike, which would be nice. Um, in. Definitely don't mind trading here. Okay, I think I block here and block here. Yeah. Ember Cleave! Holy fuck, a bunch of 1-1s. One nice. And I think... That is all she wrote. One damage. Yep. Feels bad. Feels bad. I don't know. I mean, I can't put 26 lands in this deck. Alright, let's hop into another one. sure what that is. Is that Korean? Um, Alright, we got a four lander now. Uh, 
Uh, I guess we keep this. I'm gonna start off with the flourishing fox. Fox. Uh, next turn we'll definitely be playing Luminous Broodmoth. Or do I wait? He could have um, it's like a Scorching Dragon Fire, or I forget the one. Uh, no, no blocks. I'll take the one. Could have a. Uh, A lot of um, the same old decks, right? Let's play this and no, oh. no sense in attacking here, right? We'll just hold up the blocks. I definitely don't mind wasting two two cards for one. I wish there was a, a card similar to um, Settle the Wreckage in Standard, man. There's just really no clear board wipes. Are you just going in with the Annex? And I do not feel like trading. Surprised your ass there, didn't we? I don't know what it is with this deck. I just can't four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and it's a good game. Deck should do better. I don't understand. Hmm. Do I just drop Reptilian Reflection? I just want this card to work so bad, right? I guess we just drop this. Um. I guess we bump up the Banishing Light to one more. And we have two two slots available. What's that new card from the new set? Uh, cycling card. This one. Will of the All Hunter. Let's do take three and do one, two, three. So now I have four, five, six, seven, 
Let's try running with this and see see if that makes a difference. Dark Dragon X28. He's a fan of Nicole Bolas. He's a fan of of me. Uh, this actually looks like a decent hand. I'm going to go ahead and lead off. with the Flourishing Fox. some lands for me. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and play out this temple. Land, I don't need another land right now. Looking for some more action. Um, I'm going to wait one more turn to activate the Savai. So... I think here I think I play the flourishing fox and then I cycle here. We're still hitting you for two at least. Persistent, peti persistent Petitioners. I always wanted this card to work. I know there's some jank decks. Um, okay. Well, check this. This is what we do here. We're going to play gonna play this mountain. And I am going to cycle the Splendor Mare. And I'm going to give our friend here. I give him the lifelink. Kind of spread out the wealth a little bit. Um, oh, wow. All right. Well, our, our second victory of the night. I think that's two and two. Not too bad. I just, man, it just feels bad. I really wanted that reptilian reflection to work. I, I'm still gonna be uh, still gonna be trying to make that combo work some way. Maybe the answer is just a bunch of super cheap cycling cards, just to really like just pump up. Hmm. It's got another four lander here. Savai. Um. Like this hand is kind of slow, right? Maybe. Two lander here. We've got a will of the all hunter, splinter. Uh, this is a keeper, I guess. Um, I can cycle everything here for two. We have a flourishing fuck. Okay, I mean, I think it's. it's there. Uh, so we keep. What's more important here? I think. I think I'm going to keep Will of the All Hunter. I'm going to drop the uh, uh, Raking Claws. So we'll keep this. I'm going to drop the Raking Claws. Maybe. Yep. And unfortunately, we'll have to lead off with the Temple. Feels bad looking for a land. It's not a land. Uh, I don't want another Splendor Mare. All right. 
right, I think we just play the flourishing. And go from there. Opponent's eye on my flourishing flop. Flourishing fox. Migratory great learn mutate. Now he's a three, four, paste. Okay. Well, uh, I'm good. I'm gonna have this center tapped. You just hold up the blocks. Quaza wife. Opponent has a uh, handful of cards. I'm expecting this to die. It's okay. time. Well, I guess we flourishing fox, pay one, I will cycle, put the lifeline count on him. I think we're still dead here anyways. Current opponent could play a burn spell, we could see a questing beast here. Holy fuck. Well, that's... Man. Tough crowd today. Just been getting my ass kicked the last couple days. Feels bad. So... What happened there? We just, uh... Hmm. I mean, I'm not going to change this deck anymore. It's, it is what it is. Yep, got enough land. We've got removal. Opponent Zargon. Three lander here. I got a luminous brood moth. Some, uh, some cycling will keep this. I'm gonna lead off with a flourishing fox. It's always tough these first couple of days after new set releases. You have some people that are very well adjusted, and some people like myself who are take a little bit longer.
Hello, Zargon. I'll just take this moment to say one last time, uh, if you enjoy the channel, uh, please like and subscribe. It helps. Alright, you passed. Well, we might have a chance. Uh, but anyways, yeah, please like and subscribe. It's free and it helps out the channel so much. Try and put out content every day if I possibly can. I think I'm going to be recording a couple of videos in a row in the next day or two because I'm going to be going out of town on Wednesday. But, uh, yeah, so I'll try and have some, some cool stuff for you. I said it yesterday that I wanted to have a, a more competitive deck today, but I, I saw Reptilian Reflection and I got excited. And um, the, meta, the meta still obviously hasn't settled with a set just being released. So... Um, I think tomorrow I, I'll uh, be showing my revamped blue-white flyers. It's nutty. Really nutty. I think Zargon is... Zargon is somewhere else right now. Alright, well... Let's uh, cycle Yadaro. I think we do Marmoset. Yeah, I think our I think our pal Zargon here is MIA. I mean hey, after the after the last two days I don't mind taking a win wherever I can get it, that's for sure. Very tough crowd the last two days. I was thinking that with a new set release they were going to reset the ranks, but um, I'm still in in gold. Hey, a win is a win, right? I will definitely take it. I read somewhere that uh, in the the patch notes that they adjusted the uh, the ladder, where in gold you would get two notches per win. But maybe I'm mistaken. Huh. All right, I got pack my Coria. It's always nice. Let's go ahead and open her up here. See what we get. Hornbash Mentor. Okay. When Hornbash Mentor enters the battlefield, put a trample counter on target non-human creature you control, and you can pay two colorless in a forest tap, put a 1-1 one -one counter on each creature you control. Okay, that could be nasty. And Slither Wisp. Excellent. So, okay, I know that the, that Demir Flash deck is very popular right now. I just I hate playing Counterspell Tribal. I think it's just so trashy. Um, however, if I keep getting my ass kicked like this, I'm, <laughs> I just might. Uh, let's hop into one more for today. Opponent is Mashio2020 with the Gideon avatar. This is the, uh, the channel mascot, Guiza. Okay, go, go get your mom. All right, we got a two lander here. I've got a little scry. I have three, or I'm sorry, two luminous brood moths. Uh, uh, I'm gonna mulligan. I and we get another fucking two lander. Okay, well I guess we keep this, right? What am I dropping here? I guess I. Shit, man. I guess I. What's more practical here? I almost never actually use this creature. I just give something else lifelink. Um, so I guess we drop... 
don't have a creature to put it on. I think I. Hmm. I think we drop the Splendor Mare, yeah. And I'm gonna lead off with the Sacred Foundry. Oh, play Mono Red. Yeah. Well, it's easy to stick with what works, right? Uh, I'm drain a Stinger. I'm gonna have this under tap, of course. Two out of six. Four oh, yeah. Today, though, I'm surprised. I, I was wondering where Mono Red was. I hadn't seen it for uh, for a couple days on the ladder, but apparently it's back. I guess people are frustrated with uh, getting their ass kicked with this new set. All right, here. We can place planes here. We will cycle Yadaro. Pick up another Yadaro. Okay. Well, if we cycle them four times, it comes into, to, into play. But I have a feeling that uh, we have an Ember Cleave coming our way. Um, well, we got a land, that's good, right? I am definitely going to be Vanishing Light the Annex. Yeah. Fuck the Annex. Alright. That buys us a little time. I still think we have three, four, five, six. Uh, you could see a, a cavalcade of calamity here. I think I'm gonna play a Draneth. Next turn. Mono red is just such horseshit. It really is. It's just. It's just so good. It's so sick. Alright, so what do we do here? Um. play Prickly Marmoset. I mean, if he fucking shocks it off the board, there's really nothing I can do there. At least I can, uh, at least I can for, for, ah, uh, yeah, see, he's got some. He's gonna do it anyways, so... Whatever. Still has first strike, though. It's not gonna help you, my friend. Still has first strike. Cool. Oh, we do pick up another land, though. That's nice. So... I will cycle the Splendor Mare. Give our friend here some life link. And I think I just cycle again, right? I mean, I think we're dead anyways. But, uh,. We're at 13. Opponent's going to Ember Cleave this turn. So that's is 4, 8, 9, 10. 10 damage. Excuse me. open his two mountains for his ember cleave and that's <sighs> oh we didn't have the ember cleave all right we're we're, we're still alive and we're hauler okay um well go 
going to do a lot of cycling here. Trying to stay alive. There's a luminous brood moth. That's nice. Cycle this one again. Box. Um, I mean, right? I think we're dead, anyways. Give our friend here double strike. So, oh, I didn't think about that. That was a waste because the creature dies when you when you first on the first hit, and then you don't get the recursion. So that's uh, just blah, blah, blah. yeah. I'm not even gonna say good game to this guy. Well, once again, I do apologize. I swear I'm a better player than this. I've just been just getting raped the last couple days. Um, but like I said, I, I think I'm tired of losing, so tomorrow I'll be showing you my blue-white flyers, which is an extremely competitive uh, deck. And uh, once again, thank you for tuning in, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. It helps us out. It's free for you. Uh, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.